Sugared garnishes. I love this type of decorating because it takes your dishes from nice to wow. I normally will start these maybe three, four days in advance. I'll make a very simple syrup. I will use a cup of white sugar and a half a cup of water. Put it in a saucepan and medium heat. You only want to, you're going to feel if there's any granule in the, the sugar water at all. If it is, keep letting it heat up. You want it totally dissolved and then let it cool. You don't want a hot syrup. I don't tend to do egg whites just because of concerns with salmonella. If I ever had somebody that was expecting a baby, I just don't even want a chance that this works beautifully and there's no repercussions if there was ever a problem with it. So I made my simple syrup and it's kind of thick. I don't know if you can actually even see that, but there's a thickness to it. And I'm just going to show a couple of things because it's so easy. So I will just take a couple of cranberries. Oh, they float right on there. Cranberries, by the way, have four chambers in them that are air, and that's why they float. I was teaching my grandchildren about cranberries one day and learned that interesting little tidbit. So then I bought sage. Anything you decorate when you're preparing food has to be edible. You don't want to ever have something on your table that you couldn't eat as well because people just might make a mistake and heaven forbid somebody got sick. So I'm just dipping the sage into the sugar water. And you want the stem as well. I'm gonna, oh, it smells so good. What an interesting combination of sugar and sage. It smells great. I'm just gonna drape that there for now. And then these are bay leaves. I got them fresh at the store. I got a whole little bag of them. They were just lovely. Versus a dry wouldn't hold up. You know, you want the fresh. And again, I'm just gonna let that drip a little excess. Put that there. And then rosemary look like little trees. I can stand them up on cakes or depending on what I'm making. And they look like little Christmas trees when I get done. So again, I'm going to just dip that in. Drain that a little bit. And let's see here. I am going to just sugar these around a little bit just so you can see how easy it is. And I bought some sparkling sugar. So it's thicker than our regular sugar that we would use for baking because it has such shine to it and it's just a bigger um, granule of sugar. So I'm just going to take that. Whoop. And don't worry if you have extra sugar. I'd rather have too much than too little because when you dries off, some might fall off and you'd rather have it look really glistening. So I'm going to turn this over and just sprinkle some extra sugar on this and look how pretty that looks and then the same with the sage I'll separate that a little bit so I'll actually get the individual leaves and then when I'm doing a cake or I'm doing uh, appetizers whatever it is that I want to make look festive you don't want to do every single dish that that has all this decoration you want just a few things that have a wow to them and then here's the rosemary. And then your simple syrup, too. You could always save for something later if you need it. It doesn't have to go to waste. And then I'm going to just drape that there. And I let that dry um, overnight. And then after that, it just stayed out on the rack. You can put it in airtight containers. You can just leave it wherever, nobody's going to bother it. And like I said, it's going to hold up beautifully for a couple of days. So it's not something, you know, that you're doing the last minute. I also did some oranges, cut them very thinly, just put them in sugar water, and then had them in the sugar. And then again, they've dried. Another thing that looks so pretty in the wintertime is little star anise. So you could take, whether a kiwi, or not a kiwi, but um, a lime, a lemon, or an orange, you can cut them thinly and you could stand them up and then garnish with the, uh, cran the cranberries or the sage, the basil, or the rosemary and then stud it with some of the little star anise. And then the other thing that I thought could be so cute is taking uh, some toothpicks and if I wanted to make a cluster of the cranberries so it looks like I have like all these little holly berries I just put a toothpick in the bottom of each one, Oop. and then I have 
It really helps if you have kids that have braces. I have grandchildren that do, so I can get these really little rubber bands, and that way it holds it nice. My fingers are a little sticky with the sugar and the, and the syrup, but um, this way it'll hold it, and I'll have little groups like that that I can also put onto the cake or candies or whatever it is that I want to design. So have fun with this. It is so pretty and it makes such an impact on whatever you decide to layer and design.